site two of the farm and we are going to load up our goats and take them over to site one because it's time to breed them so they'll have babies in the springtime. There's Lilo. Come on, goats. We don't want the sheep, we want the goats. Don't. Okay. Come on. way to ride here we are back at the farm site one and we're gonna go ahead and unload the animals and get them all wormed uh, so we're giving them valbazine it's a, a dewormer you only give about one milliliter for every 25 pounds of goat weighs So we gotta get the other goats too, but right now at least we have access to these two, so. And he's the only buck that we have, so he has to breed all of them. Good girl, Cinnamon. Good girl. Well, Phil and I had a bit of a surprise when we came out to feed this morning. We came outside to find this in various spots in our yard. Normally, you see this kind of stuff out in the pasture. But we had it in our yard this morning. So, we knew what that meant that the cows were out, which also means that the goats were out. Um, luckily, we had them kind of trained to come when we call, so it was very easy to find them. It wasn't too difficult to get them back into the pen, thankfully, and thankfully they didn't go down all the way to the road. That would have been kind of disastrous. But we figure that um, back when we added the goats into the pen with the others, that Somebody forgot to fully lock the gate. <laughs> so that's been our exciting morning. Well, I have found this. I started to blame it on uh, worms, but remembering that the cows and the goats have been out, I have determined that the goats have eaten all the leaves off of this. They took a munch out of a, my biggest bell pepper that I still had left. And then when I came over here where I had some mums, this used to have a few mums on it, and those are gone. Knowing that they do eat mums now after that fiasco before, I found this one down on the ground. This one was also on the ground, but thankfully they didn't eat all of it, and I put it back up there. So, those darn goats. <laughs> So I'm going to take you around and let you see what's going on in the garden area. So right here, you can see we got manure. 
It's a bunch of rabbit manure and some bedding and stuff. We got leaves covering the ground from the woods. That's going to break down and give moisture to the soil. We got the wood chipper actually in the garden. And all this is going to help keep moisture in the soil. And keep in mind this is all wood, so most of this is just clay soil. It don't really have a whole lot of minerals or anything. Over there is a huge pile of manure, leaves, pumpkins, dead animals, whatever. And we just turn it every so often. Over here we got a fire going. And that's going to put potash in the soil, which would be potassium to help enrich things so we got all this stuff going on all this organic matter we're going to keep on keeping on through the winter time in the fall so next spring we should have a really good soil we hope you enjoyed watching chamberlain family farms you can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com you can also check us out on facebook chamberlain family farms we hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe